welcome to Violet Adaze. Violet here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, hello. Today we are once again looking at Anita Boys Don't Cry. If you haven't seen my official reaction to the video, you can check it out here. But we're doing things a bit different today. There's a lot of movie references that Anita made in this video that I did not catch. The only ones I managed to catch were the Harry Potter one and the Runaway Bride. Shout out to Roberto Cabral Jr. He told me all the references in the comments. Also, shout out to Jed Dringer for giving me this idea to make a video and check out all the references. Anita put all the references on her actual Instagram. So I'm gonna compare the references to the actual music video. But before I get started, guys, are you following me on Instagram? Because if you are not, you should go follow me on Instagram. With that being said, let's get into these references. The first reference that I see is the Resident Evil reference where Anita is running away from zombies in those sky high platform boots that are not made for running. <laughs> oh, look at that. Pablo Vitar commented, fire, fire, fire emoji. Big Sean commented, love all the Resident Evils. Okay, we got some check marks in here commenting. Does she have huge ass boots? boots on? Nope. The boots she has on is meant for running. And then the second movie that we see that she references in her music video is SLC Punk. And this is the clip that she posted on Instagram. And this is referencing the part where she is at a punk rock party in like the basement or something or in a club. This is what she was referencing. I've never seen this movie, so I know nothing about it. <laughs> she was referencing her favorite movies. So that is pretty cool. I might have to check out SLC Punk to see if it's a good movie. If you guys have seen that movie, let me know if it's a good movie and if I should check it out. Another movie that I have not seen that she referenced was What is Eden Gilbert Grape? It has Leonardo DiCaprio in it. It has Johnny Depp in it. And it's this scene right here. She didn't post a video for it, but it's this scene that she referenced for it where she's sitting on the couch with her zombie boyfriend <laughs> and he's like putting his head on her shoulder. And they even have the same kind of old school looking couch too. I might have to check some of these movies out. Another reference she made was of course Harry Potter, which I have seen and I caught it right away. If there was anything I was gonna catch, I was happy it was Harry Potter because I love Harry Potter. So this scene where Harry Potter finally gets all his mail from Hogwarts saying that he's been accepted to come to Hogwarts. This is so obvious. Like this was like the most obvious one, I think. It was very fitting for the context that she was using it in. Like a bunch of guys sending her all these letters to date them or to I miss you, whatever. So I think it was a really cool um, reference that she made and in the context that she used the reference in, it matched perfectly. So I was happy that I got this one. She also referenced this, which is the fifth element in this scene right here with her like orange reddish bob and I would have never got this guys. I might have seen the fifth element, I can't remember, but I, I can't remember moving now if I have. But this is the bob she was referencing and I think her hair looks sick there, so she did a good job. Like whoever came up with how she should reference the different movies, if it was her, she did an amazing job because it was like little tidbits. She wasn't knocking you over the head with it, but it was just enough that if you are a fan of that movie, you'll get it right away. So that was sick, two thumbs up for Anita for creativity. Next thing she referenced that pissed me off that I did not get until it was pointed out to me and I was like, that is where it's from. She was referencing this scene in Titanic, in this scene. And I remember if you watch my actual reaction video, I was like, this looks really familiar. Like if everybody knows what she's referencing here, let me know because it looked so familiar to me and I couldn't wrap my head around what it was. Once someone was like, Titanic, Rose's necklace. I was like, Rose's necklace. Because it was the necklace that was getting me the most. I was like, that hard necklace looks really familiar. But I couldn't put my finger on it. And then Roberto, shout out to you once again, pointed it out to me and I was like, Titanic. Next one. This one I would not have gotten. I think I have either seen Beetlejuice. It's so embedded in pop culture that I might have seen some scenes. But I could not get this red dress for the life of me. When I was watching the video, I knew that she must have been referencing a certain dress. But I just didn't know where to even begin to like think of where she was referencing it. And she was referencing Beetlejuice. Although I have to say in terms of who wore it better, I think Anita's red dress was a bit more, um, what's that word I'm looking for? Modern, yes, a bit more modern, but it's a cool dress to reference. A lot of people seem to love Beetlejuice. Guys, if you've seen Beetlejuice, is it worth the watch? Because I swear it's like a cult class. 
classic and people love they love beetlejuice people have tattoos for beetlejuice and everything and when i watch it this guy's face always screws me out so i just never bothered to watch it but if it's good let me know and i'll watch it and i just realized anita stringy bangs in her music video i remember saying i like her bangs and i see it on winona ryder so that is where she got it from oh i just thought it was like a creative decision moving on to the next reference which is runaway bride see i said runaway bride in the video so this is another one i got i didn't show a clip of it but i was like okay a bride is running away from her wedding the only movie i can think of that is a reference is runaway bride so runaway bride i also said mariah carey we, we belong together but it like had no similarities whatsoever apart from a bride once again running away from her wedding i was happy i got that one right even if it wasn't like full on right because i was still guessing so woohoo this is another movie i need to watch again i've watched it but i cannot for the life of me remember what happened in it i need to watch it again and then we have this shot that Anita also posted on her Instagram. That movie does not look familiar to me whatsoever. According to Roberto, that is Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. And that is the shot that Anita posted on her Instagram representing the end of the music video when she's like riding away on the bus. There, there it is. And that was the last reference she had in the video, guys. The only two I got when I was looking at the video was Harry Potter and Runaway Bride. But I, I won't hold it against myself. <laughs> Amazing music video. Amazing amazing song. I'm loving that she took a pop route this time and I'm really excited to see what more she has in store, especially now that she's gaining so much notoriety internationally. So I'm really excited to see like what her new album, if she has one coming out, has in store. Guys, let me know if she has a new album coming out. And that was the video. I just wanted to like make a quick video talking about this and catching all the references I didn't get a catch in that my actual original reaction video. If you like this video guys, give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and if you haven't already subscribe to my channel be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell and guys follow me on instagram if you aren't already following me on instagram be sure to follow me on there let me know in my comments if you have a new video that you want me to check out and i'm always on there so i'll see it with that being said i have a big shout out to give to the youtube channel football luxury on that page you'll find different types of interesting compilation videos from luckiest people caught on camera to funniest celebrity moments ever i personally love compilation videos it's a great way to pass time and if you like compilation videos as well, you should definitely check out that channel. They also have an iPhone 13 Pro giveaway going on. All you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment letting them know that you did. The link to their channel will be in my description box below. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.